Yeah, hello folks, this is Martin and in this video I show you the new plugin from On One Software. It's a plugin called Perfect Layers. It uh, will be available very soon on their site and here I show you why it can be helpful for you and some reasons why you maybe like to buy it in the future. Yeah, this uh, plugin Perfect Layers, it's made for Lightroom and Aperture and it will give you the opportunity to have layers with your RAW converter, Lightroom or Aperture. So we say in this case we have Lightroom open yeah, you spend all your money for your uh, equipment and spend the money for uh, like here Lightroom and then maybe you bought the plugin from Topaz. I've done a little work here. This is the original image and this is the image processed with Topaz Adjust directly from the Lightroom. Yeah, now you have the opportunity to work with plugins directly from your Lightroom. And maybe you have a little bit of money left and you're searching for another program like Photoshop Elements or the real Photoshop but you have not enough money for Photoshop. 1000 bucks, it's a lot of money. Maybe Element, it's a nice choice for 100 bucks. Yeah, or you don't need the other things you can do with the programs that's on the market for the post-processing, then it is a nice choice for you to take a look on the on one perfect layers. Yeah, you've done the job. From this original image, you processed with the Topaz Adjust to this. But you don't like the effect in the sky and maybe you don't really, really like in this forest here, but you like the effect in the water very well, but you have no choice to mask out with a gradient or something like this from the sky to the forest. So this, you have a little bit of a transition here in this part and the 100 effect on the water. And this is the reason why I like on one perfect layers. So I mark these two images. It's a copy the original raw file and then the TIFF file. I mark both with the control and then I go to file, plugin extras, perfect layers. Perfect layers it's a standalone. That's uh, very nice, it's helpful. So you can use perfect layers directly from your RAW converter. And here you have the two layers. On the top the background layer and underneath the, the topaz layer. I like to change it. So you have the topaz on the top and the original underneath. Yeah, and it's like in Photoshop, you have some options here. You have blending modes, the most important blending modes, lighten, darken, screen, multiply, the contrast modes, overlay, soft light, hard light, and color mode. So you can choose a blending mode for the top layer, if you like. But what is most important, you have the opportunity to mask out some parts of this top layer. And uh, this is what I like to show you. So we take the 
brush and with the big brush on the opacity of 50% we brush out this sky and I show you a little bit later on how you can illuminate this mask yeah this is the view without the mask and then you can choose an overlay or directly in white it's, sometimes it's good to choose overlay for this image i like to choose overlay for another image it's better to use the white option or you have a grayscale like it's known from uh, for example Photoshop you have the white or some gray or black parts so it's up to you what's best for your image and this I like to use overlay yeah and then um, I will mask a little bit of this forest here with a smaller brush and uh, opacity with say 20% or we go up to 30% and then I brush out the forest parts it's a hard selection for this time for this video do it really fast so but you know what I mean we have the point here what is good to use perfect layers for yeah and now we have masked out some of these parts can take a look at the before and after and it's still too hard this effect from the topest layer so I choose opacity with about 40% maybe take a look on the before and after and we can maybe go up to the 50s yeah and I like to say this is what I like for this image so we mask out we have a little bit of a transition here from the sky through the forest down to the water part yeah and the, this is good for me and now we can go in and say save and uh, on one is progressing this masks and we can go back to our Lightroom and we have now a PSD file with the with the changes we made in the perfect layers this PSD file can export from Lightroom as a JPEG or as a TIFF you also have the opportunity to export direct directly here from the perfect layer you can export as a JPEG or as a TIFF as well I like to save it so I have my image back in the Lightroom and then I can export it from the Lightroom to whatever I want yeah this is it a little overview over the new on one perfect layers I hope you like I hope you enjoy to play with it thanks for watching happy Eastern this is Martin goodbye